Thanks for staying with us on this edition of Vision. Cedric Vaughn, excited about this segment. This is part two of our Women in Business uh, edition, and we're very excited to talk to Andrea Rogers Mosley, who is the director of the Small Business Development Center, Alabama State University. Mrs. Mosley, thanks for being with us on the program. Thank you for having me. Uh, hey, we got the opportunity to talk to you. You're in a new position now. We want to yes. say congratulations Thank to start you. off the top. And so we think that it's very appropriate and well-deserved. Thank you so very much, yeah, we're, um, we're excited about being in this position. Yes, yes, well we know, we know that you're going to do well and you're already doing well. Uh, for those people who are interested in business, opening one, developing one, moving forward, we want to let, wanted to ask you to just kind of give an overview about your organization mm -hmm. and, and what it is that you do with the Small Business Development Center. Right, so the Small Business Development Center started in 1979. And um, as a matter of fact, it was because, um, as we all know, and we look at it, the small business is the backbone of the economy. So across the nation, um, they recognized this, so the SBA was instrumental in pulling this together. But along with that, um, at Alabama State University was Dr. Percy Vaughn, yes. who served on the committees when the SBDCs was being started across the state. So Alabama was one of those entities. Um, in the state, we have 10 centers that are um, SBDC networks that are part of the Alabama Small Business Development Center network and the University of Alabama um, serve as the lead center. Okay. Um, so it's um, a growing entity um, over the course of the years. Uh, there's been so many projects and programs that have changed and come into place to support the small businesses. The organization at ASU we um, do what the rest of them do. We work one-on-one -on -one counseling yeah. with clients that come in, yeah. um, those who are pre-existing or existing businesses, um, helping them with um, starting the business from the ground level up with writing the business plan, um, helping them with their financial plan, their marketing strategies, um, taking them all the way to the, uh, well, the back stages of yeah. creating the LLCs, yeah the um, helping them with um, the stages of just the, going to the IRS and yeah. knowing how to get an EIN number. Yeah, yeah. Um, from there, as they grow their business and expand, we also work with them in the areas of developing um, the procurement side of it. Are they ready to do business with the government? So a lot of things that we do with businesses. Well, and you're, and you're right. And so, you know, we, of course, <coughs> we're in the community a lot. And a lot of people, they want to start a business. Mm -hmm. They want to you know do something uh, entrepreneurial but they don't know where to go so what some of the people don't know is that they come to you that's right <laughs> uh, and that's what you do at your center yes that's right we're um, funded in part by SBA Small Business Administration so normally um, SBA they th uh, most people um, call that number first when they're looking for assistance with um, help but the SBA, the A is the way it's structured is, they're the resource entity, and what they do is provide, they work with partners. And the partners um, are organizations such as the SBDCs, but then there's also the SCORE entities and the Women Business Centers. So we're just one of those legs of the SBDCs that's worked directly with the clients. So when those phone calls come in to their 800 number, they forward them to us yeah. to help prepare them and get them ready to do business um, as far as getting loans and um, guaranteed um, programs to the SBA. Okay, all right, real good. Well, you know, we want to transition and, and talk about your predecessor, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Lorenzo Patrick, our, our great friend going on to be with the Lord. And, uh, and so he was there for a long time and, uh, you know, he mentored all of us and, yes. uh, and helped us all get to the next level. And so uh, you're, you're taking on the mantle. 20 years of wow. legacy yeah. and so um, when I was um, announced that I was taking over the position and I was a little, not naturally a little bit nervous right, right. but and I thought about it, I, I sat up under his direct leadership um, for uh, seven since 2010 so everything that he was teaching training um, and being instrumental in so many businesses starting yeah. Um, I was right there, was sitting there able to listen and learn everything that he had to show those businesses. Mm -hmm. So uh, when my time came and the actual time period that I had to sit down with the client very first time, I, I listened to myself and I said, man, this sounds just like Mr. Lorenzo yeah. Patrick. Yeah. Just an awesome person. Um, so many countless of hours. I yeah. was looking through 
um, the hours, the time frames that he set with clients, it's like over 1,900 hours wow. that he did with one-on-one -on -one clients and sitting with individuals. Wow, wow. I tell you what, he, he, really, he really made a difference in, in helping us in our community. And, and one of the other uh, very key uh, leaders in our community is Dean Percy Vaughn. Yes, Dr. Vaughn. And as I said earlier, he was very instrument, instru um, instrumental in the businesses across the um, SBDCs, mm -hmm. um, the development stages of it when they first was founded. Yeah. So, and then just the um, College of Business itself, um, his relationships that he developed over the course of the years with the teaching the students uh, from the college yeah. and then those students actually to becoming owning their own business because yeah. a lot of them went straight into entrepreneurship yeah. when they left the college. And, and Dr. Vaughn, as I understand, actually developed and initiated the, uh, small, uh, the College of Business Administration. Yes, that uh, is correct. Uh, at Alabama State University. So uh, mm -hmm. we thank, thank God he's still with us. Yes, and, uh, yes. And we're, and we're able to call on him. Uh, and as far as uh, uh, Mr. Patrick, of course, you know, we've been doing the vision show for a while. And, yes. uh, and in, in 2008, uh, one of the few people who have really recognized what we've been trying to do was, was Mr. Patrick. And yes. He, he gave us the per Dr. Percy J. Vaughn Entrepreneurship Award, mm -hmm. and that's the kind of person that he was looking out for the community. That's right. That's yeah. right. No doubt about it. Um, a, a countless of businesses have, um, that he's worked with. Uh, as a, I'm just thinking about the numbers yeah. of people that he came in contact when he touched. And um, I'm always a numbers person, so I pull yeah. up statistics. Yeah on things that, especially within our centers ourselves, and he, it was 174 businesses mm. that under him was started, mm. and um, quite a few of those are still in existing. Yeah. That's the thing is that, you know, business start, they shut down, you know, close, they only, um, you know, existence is probably about three, right. three years for That's the first right. business, they That's turn right. over, but um, quite a few of those businesses are still open today um, because of the work that he did and teaching them how to plan mm, um, from the beginning stages of your business, not just jumping out there without mm. the plan. Yeah. So right. he was powerful with that. Yeah. <laughs> teaching them how to write the vision. Yes, yeah. that's right. To make that's it a play. Right. Well, now, you know, you've got specific <laughs> programs for veterans, women, and mm. minority business owners at your center. We do. Um, with the SBA, they focus on uh, several, um, three segments uh, that they've deemed that is uh, ones that are underserved, that is not getting a lot of attention and has um, not the, the competition levels is so high. Mm -hmm. um, so they have um, set aside uh, from the women-owned businesses, veteran-owned businesses, and minority-owned businesses. And through those programs, they develop some specialized programs. Uh, when I say specialized, those are programs that for instance, if a company is already in business and they're seeking to do business with the government, then they will um, be able to obtain certified contra uh, mm -hmm. what, uh, set aside contracts. Yes. And so those are just for that segment, a group of people that's there, which puts them in a higher uh, position uh, level of where they're able to compete a little bit more mm -hmm. because of those set aside contracts. That's good. That's good. Well, you know, one of the other uh, key mm -hmm. words in, in the world of business uh, is procurement. Yes. <laughs> and and so if you can kind of kind of define that word for us and talk about how you guys are able to help you know people in that particular region. Yeah. Well, procurement is um, when a business is at a certain level um, in their business. So it's not normally for a company that's just starting opening their doors. Um, it is uh, when they're ready to do business on a level of contracting yeah. uh, with the government. Yeah. It could be corporations. It could be city, county, state. Um, um, from Maxwell Air Force Base to Alabama Power to Hyundai. Um, these people are, what we do is we work with them um, to help them prepare to understand what the certifications mm -hmm. that they're going to have to have and obtain in order to d get those contracts, helping them with getting their DUNS numbers, mm -hmm. uh, which is a very simple and easy thing to do, yeah. uh, but it get kind of a little confusing with some people when they're trying to fill out the paperwork. And then also SAM.gov, which is the systems administration management system for um, individuals who want to do the vi um, business with the government. Okay. So we walk them through, and it's a hands-on process. We don't just bring them in the office and um, give them the website and point them to it. We actually walk them through and sit them down at the desk. And through our office, the SBDC, we have two components, and it's almost a one-stop shop. So we have the, what we call the three C's. We do counseling, we do contracting, and we do capital, which is sure. um, 
financing for the yeah. business. Yeah. So from our uh, P-Tax side, which is Procurement Technical Assistance Center, that's Mr. Thomas Taylor, yeah. and he's a specialist within that office that is able to assist those individuals who are ready yeah. uh, to do business with the government. And we sit down with them and help them to, like I said, to get prepared and get their certifications that they need. Yeah. Certifications include um, women-owned business certification, um, uh, veteran-owned business certification, minority-owned business certification from the state and federal side, veteran-owned business certification, as well as hub zone mm. certifications. Mm. That's those um, underutilized um, business zones. Yeah, regions. Yeah. yeah, yeah, real good. Well, that's uh, great. You um, are doing a lot. Of course, we know uh, Mr. Taylor, and he's been working there with you for a long time doing he great has. work. Yes, yes, yes. He yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Um, smart guy. He very smart <laughs> and. Um, we invite folks that if they um, are ready to move to that next level to come and sit down with Mr. Taylor to um, learn about the contract opportunities that's available for them and um, come to what we, were, um, we host every year, a bid matchmaking, um, matchmaking co mm -hmm. um, co procurement business um, uh, um, conference. Yeah. So every year they're invited to come to that, to, even if they're not prepared. Uh, just to come to it and learn. Yeah. So we, we hosted with um, Hyundai, yeah. has been a sponsor for it for the last three, maybe five years now. And so we're excited about them. They, we're growing strength and the, the pro, um, program itself is getting larger each year. Mm -hmm. More and more um, suppliers are coming and con um, vendors are coming. Yeah. So it's really a great opportunity to well, just be in the room. Yes, because I went to the session you had uh, with <coughs> Hyundai uh, earlier, you know, a little few months ago, mm -hmm. and you actually had it at the at the actual uh, Hyundai plant. So, yes. uh, so we want to encourage people to do that. You got mm -hmm. a lot of workshops and and seminars and programs that you do. We don't have enough time to talk about them on this segment. Yes. We have to invite you back to come to talk about it again on the next time. Uh, we want to say just thanks for coming by to be with us. Thank Ms. you for Mosley. having me. Uh, we uh, are going to be with you at an event you're going to do in a couple of days. And uh, we yes. want to um, invite you to come back and tell some more about your great center. Sounds good. All right, excellent. And that's going to do it for us on this edition of Visions. We've been excited to talk with Andrea Rogers-Mosley, director of SBDC. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.